Hello besties, welcome back to another YouTube video and in specific welcome to a vlog We have not done a vlog in a minute and it's kind of a vlog. I don't know if this is considered a vlog, but whatever It is literally Saturday night and you know what I'm doing? I'm being a really good girl and studying tonight. I'm staying in. I have a lot of assignments to do and I also forgot to make plans I, I don't know why it's here we are You're probably wondering, well, what is this quality? What is this? This is not giving iPhone 14 plus quality. I got a new camera. So now we have HD content and I'm really excited about it. But let me grab my planner. Let me show you guys what's going on. Oh, huh. Don't mind me. My handy dandy planner. I would die without this. So I have so much due in this next week that I need to get done. Two assignments. No, one. No, two. Two assignments, one due tomorrow, and one due the day after. And then I have two tests I need to study for. I'm gonna worry about the studying later, but I gotta get the two assignments done. I wanna show you guys a realistic study with me. Cause I see all these people with their aesthetics and their candles and this and that. Don't lie. Don't lie to me. I know that that's not how we actually study. Here's my very real Oh, hello there. Study setup. It's literally just in my bed. What else? I don't know what else to tell you. The situation, we have my laptop, okay? The studying laptop vibes. We have my planner, which tells me what I need to get done. We have my binder. It is very well organized. We have dividers and every section is for a different class because I don't want four million, I don't want seven different notebooks, okay? I don't want 10 billion different notebooks for each class and then all that paper gets wasted if I don't use all of it. Everything's divided accordingly and then at the very back, I have just blank sheets of paper so I write a note and then guess what I do? I put it into its section. That way, if it's a class I don't need to put a lot of notes in, that's fine. We use a couple pieces of paper. If it's a class I take a lot of notes in, like a math class, it's a lot of paper. But I'm not wasting a notebook. That's the point. And then we have my scientific calculator. Donna got me this for my birthday and it was actually really cute because I was already going through my breakup at the time and she ma handmade me flowers. Handmade me a bouquet of flowers because she knew I was gonna be sad on Valentine's Day. So she was like, this is like a Valentine's Day gift for you. I'm your Valentine. And I was like, that's so sweet. I don't know what to name him though. He needs a name. He kind of has a Paul energy, you know, Paul. But I've talked to some Pauls who kind of ruined that name for me. So we're not doing that. Can y'all give me some name suggestions and then you know what I do I put on desperate housewives I love desperate housewives you guys no one talks about it enough it's like a low-key thing that like if you get it you get it if you don't you don't it's such a good show it's like you know how we all have that show where you're like I wish I could experience it for the first time again I could tell that this is one of those shows oh my god I'm so fucking uncomfortable did I accidentally repost this man's you guys oh my god I just did something so embarrassing there's no way this actually just happened and y'all caught it in real time what just happened? Oh my god, I'm so embarrassed. I'm so embarrassed. Oh my god, I need to call Brianna right now and tell her what just happened. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Let me give you guys the backstory. What the just happened? Okay, I'm back on Hinge, right? Because I'm single, so I'm back on Hinge. And there's this guy, I just, I literally just started messaging like two hours ago. And then you know what happened? I was messaging him and he's 6'9". 6'9". I messaged Brianna about him and I'm like, oh, like, look how cool this guy is. Like, he's so good looking, whatever. And then she's like, oh, I used to message him, blah, blah, blah. And then she's like, oh, right, he has a TikTok. Sends me his TikTok. I look at it and, oh my god, I'm gonna throw up. I looked at his TikTok and I tried to copy the link so I could send it to Brianna. I reposted the video by accident. And he just messages me being like, lol, you just reposted my TikTok. Oh my god, your TikTok famous. I'm gonna throw up. There's no way I actually did that. I need to tell Brianna about this. <gasps> Brianna, I f***ed up. I don't know how this keeps happening, but I f***ed up. I accidentally reposted TikTok. I unreposted it, obviously. Are you gonna imagine what are you doing? I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. <laughs> Guys, when I say this is what Sahar is, this is Sahar. Of course that would happen. What do I say to him? You guys, what do I do? Do I just own the mistake or do I unmatch him? Personally, I don't feel like this is your king. I think you have someone else waiting for you. Brianna doesn't show. Oh, don't say that. What if he's watching? Hi, king. <laughs> tall king. Such a tall king. He just called me a pocket full of sunshine. Well, 
Okay, he's gonna love you after seeing that. This man's trying to become TikTok famous. Okay, I know, and this is what sucks, you guys. This is what sucks about dating the influencer world. You people just want clout. <laughs> guys, he's really tall. Really tall. Not enough for me. If you love him, I support it. I'm just gonna, like, just admit it, I suppose. He called me a puck of all sunshine. I have to enjoy that. You know what I noticed, Brianna? I've been embarrassing myself a lot lately. I don't know why this is becoming my reputation. Why do I keep messing up? <laughs> like I've been misstepping and like tripping and like doing really embarrassing things. Like I keep getting off at the wrong floor of my apartment. And I have to get back in the elevator and there's other people in there and they always see me. Like, I can't believe that happened. <laughs> First the Snapchat with my ex, now TikTok repost. You literally just like accidentally flexed on him. It was such an accident. He's not gonna watch this bro. He's not. You lying. You never know. People be Okay, message from us to you guys. They always creep. Her ex situationship found out she ha was seeing someone for a bit. And, and he was blocked. So and how did he find that out? He's creeping. They be creeping. Okay. <laughs> how is my life real? Let me message him. LMFAO. Oops. I was definitely searching you up and creeping and did that by accident. And then I'm gonna say, and I am a pocket full of sunshine. Cause I am. I'm gonna study in silence now. I don't really have much to show you guys. I think you guys, you guys got all the action that you could have possibly gotten from that. I'm gonna turn on some Desperate Housewives, clock in, and start getting my silence done. Okay, besties, it's a new day. I have to get ready for school. I have a math test today, and I just could not bring myself to properly study last night. So I got up at 6 a.m. to study, and I feel okay. I think it's fine. Like I'm doing okay in math. I understand it generally, so I think we're okay. But I'm gonna do more of a chill makeup vibe because. I'm, I just don't have the energy right now. I'm not gonna lie, after midterms, my energy for school just plummeted. Like literally just went down the drain. I was just like, I'm not in the mood for this anymore. I can't do it. Something I wanna quickly talk about, I saw someone comment this on a video, like just like some school video I made, like some school short. And it was like, why do I feel like she only went back to school for school content? POV, COVID, ruined your school time so now you're trying to like live your college life at 24 and she's like but slay like live your life like that was the most backhanded bullshit i've ever seen in my life it's so normal to be 24 and be in school there is nothing weird about that like there's people in my classes who are like in their 30s and still there and i would never look at them and be like why are you here why i went back had nothing to do with content my content is based around my real life so yeah if i'm in school then like I'm gonna make content about school. Imagine if somebody else, like, like other people saw that kind of stuff. Like, if someone else saw that and they were thinking about going to school and then they see comments like that. You can go back to school at any age. You can be 50 and go back to school. My friend's mom is, like, 55 and she just recently went back to school. From my breakup video, which I hope you guys enjoyed, it made me so happy to see how many people felt, like, comfort from watching that video because a lot of people were saying they were also going through a breakup. So they were like, this was, like, healing for me because I'm also going through a breakup, blah, blah, blah. And that made me feel so happy to just like know that us talking about it kind of helped let's talk about school and a breakup at the same time because holy that is not for the week that is not for the week because literally we broke up bro like right when i got back into school foreshadowing to taylor swift's torture poets department i can do it with a broken heart i didn't think i could but i could trying to like get school work done while your heart is shambled in a billion pieces it's something nobody prepares you for that's for sure because literally i would be sitting there trying to teach myself statistics while my heart is so heavy and then i just start sobbing like having a full-on mental breakdown okay during my breakup i was talking to myself a lot like i just speak out loud whenever i was sad i feel like it's also my way of like talking to god kind of and i live alone so i can do it i was like school is hard enough and i have to do it with my heart shattered like how am i supposed to do school and have a heartbreak like this is so hard but i got through it and it was weird because i'd have those mental breakdowns and then i'd look back at my schoolwork again and then i'd start getting it and i was like okay god's looking out for me a little bit <laughs> just know if you're going through a heartbreak and school i feel you but also what i was thinking was i was like i'm so happy that i am in school because i can't imagine having dealt with that and having nothing to distract me like because i couldn't bring myself to do content but i had already been obligated to school right so i had to like go to school but if i didn't have school i literally don't even know what i would have done because as much as it was hard it was such a good distraction for me like I had assignments I had to do like even if I was sad I had to keep myself busy okay I'm doing a super light base today like just really really light because I'm not in the mood oh it's just so annoying because there's cute people in some of my classes and I just want them to be in love with me but I also want to talk about like canon events from like breakups 
because that's so relevant. School and breakups are like the two things that have been like the theme of 2024. Love that for me. I was talking to Maru. You guys know Maru, one of my best friends. There were so many things that I didn't realize were like canon events when you're going through a breakup. When you love someone, you're kind of like, we're gonna be together forever and ever and ever. And then when it's not forever and it's actually a much shorter period of time, you're like, wait, what just happened? So I, I really do thrive in a relationship. Like, I'm not a single girl. I don't sleep around. I'm not one to like go out and party and go crazy. Like, I like being home. I like having a person. I like being someone's person. So it was really hard for me to like, break that habit so Brie and I both are just kind of like we need to get another relationship right now <sighs> okay so basically y'all I was like okay I need to date everybody and I need to find a new boyfriend right now y'all want a fast blush when you're on the go busy nude sticks I started talking to this one guy on hinge I don't I don't know why what happened in my subconscious but I got so much anxiety from this man I had a full-blown panic attack and then that was the moment I realized I'm not ready to be dating right now as much as I would have loved to hop into a relationship right this second right after my breakup without healing I clearly need to heal I clearly had stuff I needed to work on. If you get out of a relationship and your first immediate thought is I need another boyfriend, can an event, that's okay, but you are probably better off being on your own for a little bit. Is the pages turn with the bridges burn? So anyone else get really stressed out curling their eyelashes? I have like this fear that one day I'm gonna rip all of my eyelashes off. Look at my lashes. I wish I had better lashes. Ugh. It's so funny when sometimes you try to do like a fast makeup look or something and then it ends up taking like longer than if you just did your normal one. I like completely lost track of what I was trying to say with my whole situation with Brie and I. So, ugh, welcome to ADHD 101. This is your core subject. We both just were trying so hard to get boyfriends and then we finally both hit this moment of being like, we need to just sit in our heartbreak for a bit. Like we have to just sit with our broken hearts and know that we're probably not gonna be over our exes immediately as much as we would love to just immediately be over them and like move on we're probably not there yet and that's okay and we're just gonna take the time to accept that and live life with that fact rather than trying so hard to resist it you know okay uh, mm so this is the final school makeup I'm gonna go to class because y'all are distracting me by staying here and I'm already late. Okay, I'll see you after class. <laughs> Welcome to my washroom. So I had a lot of school stuff today, as y'all know. This week was just like a lot. I had two really big tests. I did good on one. I did not so good on the other one. <laughs> so more things I kinda wanna talk with y'all about. Therapy, let's talk about some therapy while I wash my face. I love therapy and I just put Brie onto therapy. I've been like begging her to go to therapy. But the thing is with therapy, be using this tatcha rice wash you can't make someone go until they want to go themselves i'm having one of those nights where i'm not trying to do too much skincare i'm just gonna do like a little bit so we've got some vitamin c serum but my therapist has been so helpful on helping me just like feel the motions of this breakup and stuff and i've been really good but like also i obviously have like my really sad days even though it's been like a lot of time like a, a decent amount of time has passed that i thought i would be like completely over it or i was hoping to be completely over it but i'm not and that's okay that's life you know when i filmed the breakup video i was very much in this place place of like feeling really good but healing is not linear as much as i wish it was it's okay to feel like on top of the world and feel like you're over it one day and then like a couple weeks go by and you're crying again like i still cry and it's been so long but it's like you learn to miss different things like it's not necessarily you're missing them you're missing like the memories you know i'm gonna put some silk serum from tatcha as well i just want a soft skin i have this obsession with attachment styles right now it's been like my new hyper fixation every guy that i talk to i'm making them take the attachment style quiz because i just i, I need to know i'm an anxious okay i used to be a fearful avoidant i think mystery man helped me heal the avoidance side of me a little bit but he shoved me aggressively into the anxious so now i'm a very anxious attachment person I'm working with my therapist to heal that because Mr. Man was a fearful avoidant, I was an anxious, and then his fearfulness pushed me out of my fearfulness, but then I became just pure anxious, and I don't like it. And then I'm gonna put some snail, snail mucin on. I just want to be able to like attach to people normally, you know? But yeah, therapy's good, school is good, life is good. Obviously I have my bad days because I'm nothing more than a mere human. And for moisturizer, I'm using this Youth to the People Superfood Air Whip. You can see I'm actually a fan. All right, besties, I'm so behind on all my sleep and I literally, my eyes are drifting away because of how tired I am because I've been studying every night. So I'm gonna go. But that's it for this vlog. I hope you guys like this. Let me know if you're into the school content, into the school vlogs, the therapy vibes, let me know. if you like it i'll make more videos like this because i actually really enjoyed making this but i love you guys see you next sunday